Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today we've got a continuation of the series for the Anna Nate spots now in season 3 of Overwatch 2. Hope you guys enjoyed the last video, now we're just going to continue on, hopefully this video is a bit better so you can see exactly what to stand and aim to get those nades in and get that extra all charge at the start of the round. If you enjoyed the video make sure you like, subscribe, comment, let me know if there's anything wrong. But for now, let's get straight into it. First up, we've got Blizzard World. So for this one, from the defender's point of view, from the point if you headed left and go up the stairs to your normal defending position right here on the high ground, then position yourself in between the hay bales. Then you can see this little woodwork. Put your Q right in the middle there and then just press E on that five, four second mark as they walk out and this is how it looks. For the attacker's point of view, if you go right side up the stairs, just make sure there's no one in the sight line so you don't get sniped like a noob. Position yourself in this corner here and on your perspective on the right eye of the bird. Position your Q right on that and that will land nicely on the high ground if there's anyone defending up there. Next up, we've got Circuit Royale. So they've changed the time of day for this map now, so it's the daytime. If you head out the left spawn doors out here and position yourself again on that tree like in the last one, aim for this crack in the wall here and right in where it touches that darker line and that will again land nicely on the high ground there if there's anyone defending. And this is what it looks like. For the defender's point of view, if you go up to the bridge and then head over to this room on the right, position yourself in this corner here and then you see where the two edges of the roof here meet. So you want to put your crosshair right in the middle of those two and then wait for the five second countdown and again that will land nicely as they're walking out right in front of the payload. So now we have Dorado. If you go to the right side here, so it's during the night. Now they've changed the time of day. Again, position yourself into this corner as in the last video. Now you want to aim for the very top of the moon here and that will land nicely as they walk out. Again, waiting for that five second countdown. For the attackers, if you position yourself in this very corner of this metal box here and then you see there's these three little ragged edges. If you aim on the middle of it and then aim for that wire to cross your crosshair uh, at its lowest point, that will land nicely at the top if there's anyone defending from this very common position. A new addition to the map pool in Havana. When you walk out the spawn doors, you're going to position yourself right in the middle of this wall here. Then you can see these three solar panels up there. Position your queue right in the middle of there where it touches that <coughs> sun ray graffiti. And then pop that there and usually there will be someone defending right here on this corner and that will land nicely on them. From the defender's point of view, if you walk out and position yourself on this very corner of the building and in the middle of this pillar here, then you want to count six along of these spikes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then put your cue where the sixth spire touches that little metal railing there. Uh, again, wait for that five, four second countdown and that will land nicely as they walk out of spawn. Now coming back to Junker Town, walk up these stairs here onto the high ground, cross the bridge, then position yourself in this corner here, make sure you don't break the railing. Then position your queue in line with the roof here, and then you see where the kind of the texture changes on that window here. Position your queue in line with that, and then wait for the 5 second countdown to land right in front of the spawn doors as they walk out. The attacker's point of view, position yourself in the middle of this barrel, then you can see this little nail here. You want to put your crosshair down to that second darker line there, and that will land nicely at the top of the bridge where there's most likely someone there. Coming back to King's Row now, for the defender's point of view, you want to walk out and position yourself in the middle of this pillar here, and then put your Q right up to the top of the enemy spawn doors where that little spire is. Put your Q right on that on that tip there, right in the middle, and then wait for that five second countdown, and that will land right as they walk out. For the attacker's point of view, walk out the spawn doors, head to the left, right into this corner. You're nicely covered by this bus here so no one can really shoot you. Then look at Big Ben and aim for that middle spire out of the three there on the right. And then put your key right on the tip of that spire and that will land nicely um, in this little gap here where someone is most likely standing and defending. So now we're coming back to Midtown. So for this one, what you want to do is for the attackers, Walk out the spawn doors and then head just casually to the right until you hit this drain here. Position yourself on that and then put your queue on this little corner of the building there, right there. Put your queue right in the corner of that and that will land nicely on the high ground if anyone's defending from up there. 
For the defender's point of view, position yourself in the middle of this bench. Okay, firstly, look for the spire here. Then aim up until you hit the top of the building here. So your cube is right in the middle of both of them. And that wait for the five second countdown. And that will land nicely as they're walking out of the spawn doors to get you that extra ult charge. Coming back to Parisio. So for the attackers, when I walk out the left spawn doors, position yourself into this railing here. Then you can you will see this these two nails up here. If you want to position your queue right in between that and then aim right in the middle onto that second line there, and that will land nicely uh, at the top if they're defending from up here. For the defenders, if you walk past the point and then head up these stairs on the left here, position yourself into this very corner here and then locate the fourth line in this building here of the windows. Then position yourself a bit higher until you see the on the right there's like a little texture change because of the balcony build balcony of that building. If you position yourself your queue up from that and then in line with that, as you can see on the close up here, wait for the five second countdown and that will land nicely uh, on those left spawn doors as they're walking out. Now we're coming back to Rialto, so for the attackers, walk out the spawn doors and head to the left. Then you want to look for this arrow and position your queue in line with that, and then also the second tip of that building there. So once you get those two aligned, that will land nicely on the balcony. If there's anyone defending up there, probably like a sniper or something, so easy old charge. For the defender's point of view, if you go to this statue here as you're walking out and position yourself in the middle of this bush, then you want to aim for the outer edge of the sun, but you also want to make sure that your crosshair is in line with that, again, second pillar. Uh, make sure you can see the spire on the just to the right of your queue at the bottom. Remember to put that queue on the edge of the sun, and that will land nicely on the left side of um, the spawn doors as they're walking out. Then we have Shambali Monastery. So again, when I, for the attackers, when I walk out the right spawn doors, position yourself in this corner. Then if you see this little uh, snow line here, you want to put your queue up from there onto the brown line there. And that will land nicely on that high ground where there's always someone defending from there. So for the defenders, go to this pillar here and then aim for that little brown uh, sticky out a bit. Just aim a little bit lower until you see that darkening of the wood there. Wait for your five second countdown and then that will land nicely on the, uh, the right spawn doors in the attacker's point of view as they're walking out. If you want a different option, position yourself into this line here on the wall and then aim for this little intersection between the blocks. Wait for the five second countdown and that will land on the left spawn doors if there's anyone walking out from there. So unfortunately, because Overwatch is so bad, I wasn't able to get access to Numbani in custom games, so I couldn't get you those nades put there. But as soon as that becomes available, Blizzard, come on, fix up, and then I will get those out as soon as you can. But for now, it's a bit harder on Numbani because of the roofs anyway, so it's going to be hard to find nades put for that. But yeah, sorry about that. But anyway, guys, that's the end of this one. Thank you for tuning in. Let me know if everything works out for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!